throat hurts. Throat hurts. Hey, I'm Matt with Muskoka Bros. And I'm David from Muskoka Bros. This weekend, what are we up to, Matt? We are heading off right now to Silent Lake Provincial Park. We are going yurt camping with our families. This is our first time yurt camping. Really look forward to it, and I've heard it's great for uh, intro camping for the family. So for the, those of us who don't know, what is a yurt? Uh, good question. <laughs> so a yurt is a European uh, word for a shelter that uh, comes from Europe and uh, uh, or possibly it's um, maybe uh, Himalayas or something like that. I really don't know where the name yurt comes from, but it's a strange structure that kind of um, looks like a little um, permanent shed um, and uh, it can have a few different shapes to it. Generally it has a dome top and uh, permanent sides and usually there's a wood stove inside and some yurts are nice enough to live in and some just barely keep you alive. But yeah, that's what I know of yurts so far. So I guess we're somewhere in between of being outside uh, in a tent and in a cabin? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it'll be, um, it'll keep the rain and the wind out, um, and the wood stove should keep uh, most of the heat uh, from um, getting through the walls, that type of thing. But yeah, somewhere between a uh, hot uh, tenting and a cabin. It's not quite bushcrafty, it's not quite uh, camp camping, but it's uh, something that we can do with our families and kind of get them interested in winter camping. Yeah. So um, more to come, stay tuned. All right, thanks guys. going. Maddie's just in the Jeep ahead of us. Uh, he's uh, he's kind of blazing the trail here. Uh, the girls have packed uh, some really delicious foods. I know Maddie's got uh, a few things that he's going to be reviewing. So yeah, we're uh, we're getting excited. We've got uh, both our families in uh, separate yur yurts, so we're going to kind of get uh, two different family opinions on uh, what they think of it. Yeah, stay tuned. toboggans for us and uh, we got 100 yard walk in and we're going to start the weekend. Wow. 
Why don't you just go down the pier? Yeah. Why? Is this cold? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Why this is so much fun. Okay. Don't be a tree magnet. Don't be a tree yeah. magnet. Every time I've gone down, it's been right to a tree. <laughs> I can't hold on. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> no, guys, go back. Ah. Awesome. Nice job. Definitely not eight seconds. Good job, Good job. Bye, Emma. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! We're at Maddie's yurt and it's pretty slick out here. I've almost broken my neck at least three or four times, <laughs> which is a good thing. So I want to just introduce my family and then Maddie you can introduce yours. So up front we've got Jesse. Back here we've got Abby. Are you are you in film? Hello. <laughs> Back here, we've got my wife Becky, and then Matt will take it over, <coughs> leave it over to you. All right, well, hey, and we've got my son Joshua, and my daughter Emma, <laughs> Emma, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> my wife Kat, or Catherine with a C, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So Kat and uh, David, a brother, sister. And, You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> it's been fantastic to marry into this family. You're so welcome. far. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you have to? <laughs> I wasn't sure if your name was Abby or Emma. Oh, thanks. So, uh, but upon coming to the yurt itself, the uh, fire was going when we came in. I was a little disappointed because I wanted to use some fire starter and stuff like that but at the same time it was very nice uh, for the family to see something uh, warm to come into out of the cold but inside uh, earlier we walked in and it was like we were getting sweaty we were getting sweaty we were getting sweaty which was which was good <laughs> but we had to keep coming in and out type of thing so uh, it's basically like a cross between a cabin, a fish hut, and a tent. And uh, inside there's bunk beds uh, with mattresses and a beautiful little fireplace fully stocked with wood. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It also comes with a, a barbecue with propane and uh, right and a picnic table right right outside our front door. We're really enjoying our time here so far. Uh, Matt, Maddie's been doing some reviews on stuff. We're about to go on a hike, the family, so we're gonna see where that leads. Apparently, um, hold on. Where are we hiking to? A scenic lookout. A scenic lookout. What's the lookout of, do we know? Silent Lake. Of Silent Lake. So, so we're, we're looking forward to that, and uh, so stay tuned, and uh, more to come. All right, so we've been here 25, 30 minutes maybe. Um, the kids are already tobogganing um, right on site here, and it's just icy enough to be dangerous and uh, just icy enough to be fun. And so, anyways, so far my thoughts of this provincial park in particular, Silent Lake Provincial Park, uh, fantastic drive. We are about an hour and a half north of Toronto uh, where we live. Uh, the homestead there and we had about an hour and 45 minute drive beautiful drive um, Through near Fenelon Falls area Minden and then out to finally out where we're at here now The yurt was already preheated was already preheated was already preheated the stove was already going we selected David and I selected uh, Wood heat you can select electric heat here, but David and I both heat with wood at our houses, so we we're more than comfortable to uh, heat this place here. So, um, thoughts so far 10 out of 10. Um, the yurt is warm, the yurt is clean. Um, the uh, park uh, official who signed us in, very polite, professional, 
uh, knows the park well and uh, the firewood storage right there is stocked right up there's firewood for days there and uh, we're just enjoying about zero degrees sunny and uh, you can hear the kitties in the background uh, this is just a fantastic spot to bring your family uh, maybe even bring a spouse that is maybe new to camping unsure of camping um, I guess you could call this glamping if you want, um, but it's just fantastic for the for the family setting or maybe an inexperienced person that you're bringing or a group, an inexperienced group would be fantastic for that. So Muskoka Bros are loving Silent Lake right now and we've got plenty more videos and reviews of some products that we brought to come, but so far I'm giving this place um, two thumbs up. Going for a nice hike here with the family. As you can see, the camera guy's always at the back, making sure, except for my lovely wife. Yeah, so we've been hiking for about five seconds now. <laughs> and I'm already out of breath. We're having a good time so far, and uh, don't know where the trail is heading. We're following Matt and seeing where that's gonna go. And uh, hopefully, we don't get lost and die and because all I have is batteries and lenses. So talk to you in a bit. So that was a five second hike, which was great. <laughs> yeah. And uh it was a bit icy. The trails are, are, are a bit a bit icy, and I almost wiped out yeah. five times. Yeah. How about you? For those without the uh, the uh, snow tracks, yak tracks, um, I suppose it was icy. wasn't too bad. <laughs> All for right. Me. All right. <laughs> wasn't too bad for me. When I'm on glare ice, I have to. I know I'm on glare ice, but these are really nice. Okay. So, on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate them? Right now, after about maybe an hour walking around, I have to give them, I gotta give them a nine out of 10. Uh, so, so whereabouts are we, Matt? Okay, so this is uh, Bonnie's Pond, uh, one of the many bodies of water here at uh, Silent Lake Provincial Park. And uh, we've just walked down from our yurts and uh, trying to get the kids some exercise. So um, yeah, this is a quick walk from the yurts and still, I gotta say there's a foot of ice here. And uh, where we just came from back home, um, we're having uh, no ice fishing warnings. So definitely uh, Silent Lake Provincial Park. Uh, we're just south of Algonquin right now. Uh, it's still winter time here. Yeah. It's actually, it's so different uh, from where we are because there's no snow on the ground. There's nothing. Uh, it's, it's kind of funny to see solid ice, but uh, the landscape is so much different here. And... Uh, so so pretty and yeah. Matt where are you originally from uh, I'm from uh, Prince George BC which is I guess it's considered northern BC but it's about dead center in the province yeah. um, and it's much like this conifer a mix of hardwood and softwood lots of bodies of water I'm not around Jasper Banff not the big mountains um, I'm not down in Kelowna the big white that type of thing uh, we're central in the province I tell people it's kind of like Thunder Bay you know, think of Prince George's Thunder Bay and they go, oh, okay. Anyways, uh, this area of the province, we are in the Halliburton Highlands, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Now we were in the Halliburton Highlands probably in September and it was it was gorgeous. We, we left booking to the last minute and uh, uh, the guys there completely hooked us up with a really good spot. We went with a few buddies and uh, uh, we had a great time but uh, 
so far on this trip, uh, you know, we've done a lot of uh, uh, filming and uh, just kind of hanging out. We haven't ventured too far. Uh, this is kind of like a trip where you just see what it's like so you can book a longer trip. We'll still have a few more reviews. We still have like campfire to do tonight and uh, we still have to barbecue. Um, it's so funny to say barbecue when we're used to camping, <laughs> camping, but yeah. that's uh, but that's that's great because it gets the families out. He's barbecuing on the fire here at our yurt. My bright light is blinding everybody. <laughs> Hey mom, so what are we doing today? We are making scrambled eggs and bacon. <laughs> Ooh, your hair looks nice. Yeah, thanks. Hi Abby, good morning. Hi. We got Jesse here. Hey! What are you up to? Uh, just holding the door. Nice. Garbage. So we can have light in the room? Yep. Alright, I'm just going to kind of show you what's going on in here. We had an alright sleep, everyone? Yeah. yeah! Got some bacon there. I know it's pretty dark. These yurts do get very dark, so you'll want to bring adequate light. And yeah, so breakfast looks good. We're trying to do some stove top cooking. And uh, yeah. So, Jesse, tell us about the raccoon last night. There's a raccoon that was keep on trying to grab um, the food. Oh, and where was the food? It was in a barbecue and they couldn't get it. Yeah. And they were gonna give up, but they were keep on going at it. So did were the raccoons? Did they get the food? No, they didn't. Because they were trapped under the barbecue. Yeah. And they couldn't. They just couldn't. And they were keep on running. Now, why was the food outside? Who, for, who forgot it? Uncle Maddie. Uncle Maddie. Uncle Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Uncle Matty. Oh well. You know, first time campers, sometimes uh, they forget to do these things and that's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is our day two of our overnighter. We're kind of just kind of getting packed up. Uh, checkout is at 11. It's around, what, 8? Eight, 8 o'clock. And uh, had a pretty cold night last night. Uh, but we we're really glad to have firewood and the stove so it was either too hot or too cold But that's just having a, a wood stove and we're kind of used to that So yeah, we'll check in in a bit later in a bit later. I don't know how to talk perfect. All right. Bye Bubble. Okay back. Where are we headed? Um, well, I think we want to maybe go that way uh, and then follow the trails as they go around this just leads off to more yurts. Nice and slow. That way. Okay, so east is that way. Where's the sun? The sun's over there. It is setting over there. Right, that, that would be mean? right though. So what direction are we going? So. So if you go like this and you start walking, and the needle will the needle needle is here, always going to um, point north. Do we want to take it off here?
we just uh, woke up and uh, went on a hike about uh, what would you say uh, I think by the time we get back to the vehicles about 10k yeah no big deal mm -hmm. just just like a little stroll through the park <laughs> uh, my sister thinks we were a lot less but you know you know some people <laughs> yeah. they just don't know how to measure distance yeah. and it's okay we'll forgive yeah, her about that not, honestly it's yeah. not for everyone it's not it's yeah. not and uh but uh my experience with the yurt was uh it was fantastic mm -hmm. uh it's a great place to to bring your kids and family and uh last night uh kind of getting the temperature gauge of the yurt was a bit of a challenge mm -hmm. uh right off the bat we were sweating like crazy uh how about you guys yeah yeah definitely it was about minus nine wind chill about minus 15 last night we had the yurt running all day the uh, wood stove and it was nice to come into and warm up and go back out and do what we were doing but uh when you get in at night and that's it and you're not moving anywhere and you're just laying within five to ten feet of a wood stove you know if it goes out you're done so you got to keep it going and i think next time i'd probably play with the flu a bit more and maybe damp down some of the air intake and, and cool the fire a bit but yeah we were smoking hot and then you'd fall asleep and then you'd get up to red embers and it, the temperature was down quite a bit still doable but you know if you went back to sleep the next time you got up it'd be freezing so um, so definitely if you're gonna stay in a year to get uh, familiar with how to work a wood stove and uh, there's no windows to open and close that we wanted to deal with because yeah. like I said a minus 15 you don't want to let that air in so for me uh, a lot of it was um, I didn't prep right uh, I just assumed every piece of wood was gonna fit into the the stove properly but uh, in the middle of the night I found out that no some pieces were too long and uh, so what I had to do I had to go back out to the woodshed uh, grab some more wood chop some wood actually but to be honest I felt manly <laughs> and Let's face it, I am. It's, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, well, we know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, but like, it's one of those things that you want to constantly be, constantly be thinking about prepping your next thing and making sure that you've got the proper stuff so you don't have to get out in the middle of the night and make your wife go, What are you doing? <laughs> so, just kidding. <laughs> Becky got a different voice than that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but uh, all in all, uh, any failures would have to be on my part. Uh, another good idea for um, for the yurts is to bring proper, like a proper headlamp uh, flashlight. I had to borrow Maddie's headlamp, and I had flashlights. They just weren't bright enough, so it's just stuff to add to the list. Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully, you guys can learn from us and uh, not make the mistakes we did. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so all in all, I, like I've never, I've never camped like this before. Mm -hmm. How about you? No, never, never yurt camped. Like David said, I think uh, earlier on in the video, uh, it's almost a cross between a tent and a cabin, and it literally is. You have the, you have the feel of the walls and whatnot, but they're really not sealed that well, mm -hmm. and. Uh, <clears throat> And then you, you have the, the luxury of taking your shoes off inside and that type of thing. So uh, it's a nice compromise between, um, you know, not going out and renting a cabin for money or for, you know, if you don't think that's machismo enough for you. But uh, to get the family out or to get uh, people who are new to camping out, uh, fantastic. And uh, I would do it in the summer as well. Um, certainly, I, I wouldn't uh, let your camping stop me from getting out. Perfect. So I think from here on, we're going to probably, uh, we've got a couple snacks going on and uh, we're probably, we've already got our stuff packed up uh, in our Jeeps. Yeah, so we're, we're about to probably head out in the next couple hours and uh, we've had a fantastic time mm -hmm. and uh, we're definitely looking forward to doing it again. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like this video, uh, please uh, sub subscribe and like. Uh, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, MySpace. MySpace. <laughs> uh, we have an ICQ account. <laughs> ICQ. Uh, MSN Messenger. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got it all covered. Yeah, honestly, and the traction there, big time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, so uh, from Muskoka Bros to you, mm -hmm. see you later. Thanks a lot. Cool.